Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Can are you um in front of your charts? I am, Melissa. Yes. Okay, I got to pay attention to what I'm doing here, but really quickly, I, I emailed you back. I'm totally serious that I want you to go through every single one of those trades that I emailed you so that you can see how badly you screwed up what could have been Melissa, a very nice profit. I, I am doing this now. I, I'm, I'm, yes, I am. Like, I'm just trying, I'm going to prove a point to you because... You don't have to, you don't have to prove it. I know. I do. Yes. I have to prove the point to you because you don't listen to me. And what I'm trying to say to you is just listen to me and find a money management that works, which is either hold or get out of a half. But I believe that you should hold them. But if you don't want to, that's fine. But you can't manage everyone differently because obviously you see what happened. And I like, I mean, honestly, if you weren't sure what to do before you killed anything this week, you should have asked me. I was like, you know what I would have said to you? I have no idea what the Fed says, but the way the chart looks, I have a feeling we're going to move higher. And then every long, you should have held. And it's like, and you really should have done this by too. But I mean, either way, for you to now, I mean, so you're focusing now on the loser, which is NVIDIA. And I'm just like, oh my, Lanta, you should be up like thousands, thousands of dollars right now. You should be up in these trades. And you needed a week like this. I gave it to you. I gave you the trades. You, you managed them wrong. I, I, You could have been up thousands. You could have made very easily $2,500. Yes. $2,500. Yes. And I'm conservative here. You could, you could, because these are going to fall through. These aren't even over. I, you don't even have to get out of these today, but you're not in them. It's like, I I'm, I'm have to prove a point to you so that it rams it into your head. So I, you don't have to prove it to me. Yes, my back's <sighs> against the wall. But when your back is against the wall... Then why are you making so many mistakes? Try and yourself. I know. If your I back is against before, the wall, then I listen to me. In this position before, the very same thing, and I've let them run, and I've lost, and that's the problem. No, now, the problem is you never have a set money management plan that you can live with. You say, well, if the chart looks good, well, if the chart looks bad, well, if the chart looks good, well, if it looks bad, well, if it looks good. I mean, the fact that you just emailed me if NVIDIA looks good, I mean, I almost could scream except for I have no voice. I mean, this has nothing to do with anything. The fact is that, <coughs> excuse me, why are you focused on this? If, you're, if your job is to hold it, you're still in it. If your job is to get out of it at half, then you're out of it. And quite frankly, I, honest to God, told you to get out of it yesterday. I told I you to get out of, oh, then why are you asking me about it? I took it yesterday. I made, I made 85 bucks yesterday. Okay, then why did you Why did you just email me that you're in this and you're down? I didn't email you that I was in it. I said, what do you think about this? It is holding the range. Everything else has moved. I up. think nothing this about this. What do you want to do with this? You can't even possibly tell me that you would want to short this everyone here. Everyone will still be in this as a short because obviously <laughs> I was an anomaly because I took it yesterday and I made the quick money in and out. But if you were holding this, you were holding it into next month. So at the same time, it is still holding that range. It's a better price. Well, not much better price, but it is slightly. Why not take it now? Because it's holding and it looked like it could drop again this week. If what not makes you think this is going to, I got to pay attention to what I'm doing here now. Just hang on one second. All right. Okay. Um, what was I just saying here? What? All right. So I'm sorry. I, 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 it, it, seriously. What makes you what, think? What, uh, why would you want to enter a short on a day that the stock capped up? This could run up to 150 before it falls again. There's nothing to do here. There's nothing to reshort because this. It's not broken over, has it? Yes, <laughs> it is. But yet, <clears throat> it's holding that range. What Everything does it else? have to do with Everything anything? That's nothing that I taught today. you. You I, are not focusing down, on things that I trade. taught you. We've taken it as an option, haven't we? No, the we trade, did. you did it and got out yesterday. It's off. It's over. I did, because I was, not, I was an anomaly, wasn't I? But everyone else should still be in it, shouldn't they? No, not necessarily. Why? Because you didn't know what was going to happen with Apple. I would have told everyone if, if they had asked me what to do with this yesterday, which it really could have broken the low from the previous day, but it closed at the lows. But I, I, everyone except for you, because you only had one contract, I would have said either get out of the whole thing or get out of half because we didn't know what Apple was going to do. And for that reason, that I would have said. But you only had one, so I said get out, but you made the profit. But the fact that you were even considering doing this right here is, again, complete and total opposite of what I taught you. So I'm 
I, I want you, the lesson is I want you to go through all the trades that you messed up and I want you to write all of the things that you did and I want, I want to see all the money that you didn't get, that you didn't make. I want to see it all because you, you cannot let earnings weeks profits go like this because when earnings season is over, <clears throat> right. how, what, are you, what are you going to do with yourself? Because it will be day trading and then there won't, there isn't going to be option after option after option. I'm not going to be calling 10 trades in a day and then you're going to be, what do I do with myself? And you keep talking about how, oh my God, we don't, it's not enough money. It's not enough money. I, all of these trades worked and you did not, I mean, are you in anything? I, I hope you didn't get out of this. Oh, I'm still in Starbucks. Let it ride. It's going to go over the high. And I'm also still in Caterpillar. Well, unfortunately, Caterpillar Well, this, yeah, I mean, this work, thing, yeah. again, focus on the ones that are working. Okay, so you got out of the video, you're not retaking it. You're holding Starbucks, that's fine. You didn't do the spy, which was a problem. You killed the cues with loss, which you shouldn't have done. I, I, IBM, it's it's done. And this, I have to, I have to, I have to, I, have, I, have to, I can't think about this right now. I've had such a long day. I can't think about cat right now. We'll talk about it tomorrow. I just want you to go through the exercise of what I sent you. <clears throat> yeah. I am. And then I, I'm, and deliberating, I wanted... I'm deliberating at the moment whether to cut them at 50% or not. But I've been there before. And the I don't think is... you should because you have this in your mind about uh -huh. this idea of wanting to take a certain, you know, get a certain move. And if that, I'd rather see you hold the trades and cut your risk back to 300 bucks or something or $400. I don't, I don't know what it's going to take for you to do but, that right but, now. But <clears> the, question, the question is, and, and I'm glad I'm speaking to you, is <laughs> if, I, if I kept... If I made my risk four hundred dollars, say I've just been trying to work it out now. When would I? How much would I kill that position at? Fifty dollars? A hundred dollars? If I saw it go and I saw it hover around fifty dollars, that's basically what you're telling me that I should cut the position if I see it run into profit by X amount, and I, I and I don't know the. No, wait, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Are you? What are you talking about? If I, take, if I make my risk uh -huh. $400, uh -huh. at $400, I, that's what I'm risking, $400. Okay. But obviously, if it goes into profit, and if it goes in straight away and I make $100, great, take it out $100. But what if it hovers around $50? Is the rule that I take that $50, and yet I'm risking $400 in that one trade? Well, I mean, we can talk about this more specifically, but I think for you right now, the most important thing is to be booking profits. The I know, problem that I have with the Q, I, the, I know, but the, no, the problem you have is you're not booking profits. Like you could have made $100 on this on Friday. Instead, you lost $200 on Monday, which killed it, and you didn't even talk to me about it. So whether you had held this or got out early, the, 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 listen to me, and then I, and then I really got to go because I've had some, but whether you held this trade or whether you got out early, you would have had a better outcome than the outcome that you did. Oh, I de I definitely. So uh, I what I'm saying to you is it doesn't it's even not. matter. You're going to have some that go right away and then you get out. You're going to have some that go a little bit and then you get out. When you get out, when you're up, you cannot lose. And therefore, I don't have a, it's like, say you had gotten out of this with a hundred bucks. You would have looked at this today and say, ah, oh, it's too bad I got out of that, but it's okay. I made a hundred bucks. Instead, we're saying, you're saying to yourself, oh my God, I lost $200, what an idiot I am. So the, the point is though, that it, you're, you will have a better outcome if you, I don't care is the point. I just get out when you're up. I don't think it matters if you're up 50, if you're up 100, if you're up 400. Get, the problem is you're not. You're not getting out when you're up any amount. If you consistently book profits in little tiny amounts like NVIDIA, that's fine. You're gonna have good results. If you hold, you're gonna have good results. But what you're doing is ass backwards. Melissa. I was up in Starbucks today, and mm -hmm. I thought, great, it's continuing, and mm -hmm. I turned away, and the next minute, I was down about over $100. So where do you has, say, what where does, do you put your stake in the ground and you're, say? First of all, this is an expiring t this Friday. And That's course, number not, one. Yes, and number two, true. this looked fine, but you did the right thing. You asked me, what do I think? I said, you know what? Looks good. Hold it. So you right. then ask me, that's the only solution right. I have for you. If you don't know what to do, then ask me. But the fact okay. that you wanted to get out, you have to understand these options trains. You know these from before. Something could look amazing in the chart. And if it swings around, woo, 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 oh, really like, you, yeah, could yeah, you could be up and you could be down yeah. and you could be break even. But if the chart looks good and you got time left and you got the market with you, then, then you got you to gotta let it swing around. But if you can't handle those swings, then when you are up and get out when you're up.
Right. Understood. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Anyways, I want you to do that thing for me to prove a point because you've been okay. whining about the fact that some of these haven't had big moves. When I'm not whining. I'm not whining oh, yes, at all. You've been I, I'm whining. Off it. But I don't want, but the problem is in the past I've lost. And I've lost two more today on my day trade platform. God knows what's going to happen next today, week. Today was a crazy day because we should have stayed with the market initially in the morning. I can't it, do that. I, I'm, I'm, I'm knackered. I can't do that. Well, you market. didn't do the market. Then you, if you did if you did the one this morning, the... Um, I just lost my $150. Yeah, in then that's fine. Months, then that's fine. You lost yeah. in Juniper and that was it. But anyways, if, either way, I'm saying to you that... You have to get a trading plan together. It can't be that you don't know what you're doing and every trade is different and you need to have a plan of action. Like right here now, this is swinging around. But, but so generally, like, yes, I do. I do generally. But when you get put against the wall and your your funds are depleting, you have to think, oh, crikey, what am I going to do now? You know, I mean, it's, I can't, you, if you don't cut it, you end up being broke, don't you? At the end of the no, day. because you're taking too much risk, Philip. If the, you should never have gotten out of this trade. The fact that you did meant that your risk per trade is too high. Or, like I said, you could have got out of it with 100 bucks on Friday. It, it, I mean, there's just, there's, you can't have it both ways, Philip. You can't yes. risk a lot. If you feel like you are up, your back is against the wall, then you can't risk a lot. If you're going to let the trades work, then you got to give the trades a chance to work. This is a good trade. And it probably okay. follows through tomorrow, and it probably follows through at the end of the week. But the point yes. is that, Either way, either way, you mismanage trades constantly because you're making choices based on wherever you're at with your account. If you have a big week, then you risk more or you hold. If you have a bad week, then you cut them early, even if there's nothing wrong with them. You change your mind all the time. I need to prove a point to you. And the point is, first of all, you have to have a trading plan. And I don't care what it is, but the dollar amount has to be an amount that if you really are going to hold these trades, like if you really had held this today, then you have to be okay with the trades possibly being down until they go. And yes, if you're not- I also, I also have to consider at the same time, the fact that the price of the, the option or the mean price, which generally they're around, you can get them for obviously under 400 or four, between four and five, can't you? Otherwise, if I take it so small, then I won't be able to take anything at all, will I? I have no idea what you're saying. If I call something that costs $10 and you can't take it, then you can't do that one. What do you mean? Yes, see, exactly, if they are too expensive. Yeah, I mean, that's that wasn't this. That wasn't this anyways. Again, you're in your head about the size. Again, you're in the head about the size. You're in your yes, head again about the size. I'm not in my head about a size. I'm only about, about taking one option. So, all right, an example would be Tesla over the board. That, that would be extremely expensive, as we know. <laughs> I didn't even look at this today. I mean, I, I'm... I'm just using that as a price because I do recall that there are expensive options to buy. So I couldn't do that. That's out, that's out of my way. So then the one of every 25 that I call you can't do, then you can't do. But that's not yes, on a regular I, I'm basis. Not, I'm just using that as an example. But yes, I have to obviously cut the cloth to suit, you know, suit the wallet, so to speak. But you're, you are not consistent with your money management. And that's why I want I you to go been. through all those straight... First of all, the fact I that you're even been. in the denial, no, you're not. You didn't do any trade that I called in the last week, let alone two weeks, let alone a month. I've got a list of them here, but I just cut them early. <laughs> That's the problem. No, some of them you didn't. Some of them you didn't. Like you chose to hold Starbucks. You chose to hold this one. You chose to get out of IBM. I mean, you you you, you broke, got out of IBM break even. I mean, you did this one, one one you got out this one you did that one you did that. I mean, you literally almost did every single trade differently. It's like oh my lanta. So that's why I want you to go through that thing that I just sent you, and I want you to just put it in writing so that you so that I can look over it with you because I just want to prove my point how you are doing different things with each time. So stop being in denial that you're being consistent because that is a total fabrication. Like until you get out of the denial, you're going to be crazy. And the fact that you even want to no, do anything with this. Consistent figure on the table, yes. Not inconsistent with time. I've taken what? them out at the wrong time, obviously. That stands out of my But that, what do you think but I'm talking about with consistency? That's what money management is. It's not just the amount that you're risking. It's yes. what you're doing if, with the stop. You either yes. let them ride or you're killing them at half. You can't yes. look at the chart and say, well, boo, boo, boo. And again, you're not following what I taught you. NVIDIA gapped up today. There's no short play here. The gap down happened two days ago or three days ago, whatever it was. 
if people are still in it, it, yes, it looks lower. Would I reshort this here? Hell no. I wouldn't reshort this here. You either took it and you're in it, or you took it and you got out. Well, it's like cat. I'm, I'm in cat, and that's I'll look at that right? later. I have, I have had, I am, I've had the longest day on the planet, and it was a ridiculous day because really, I, it just we should have never got stopped in the queues for a penny, and that was just like, it was crazy. Oh, did you get stopped in the queue? Yeah, we got stopped out for a penny Ooh. in the morning, and it was just oh, insane. Oh, and then I ended up redoing it. I mean, it's just a long day. I don't even. I, right. I seriously need to like just right. take a nap. Okay. But I mean, I just wanted to talk to you because you were emailing me. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Yes. Please do what a thing I just sent you, though, I, just to prove the point and put it in, please. I know. I will. I will. I will do it. Yes, some numbers are on the piece of paper. They're definitely stacking up. Okay, thank you. And no, and and you got to figure out what you're doing with the money management then. Like, like, we have to figure this out for you. Yes. Yes. Before I okay. call another trade, all right? All right, yes, thank you. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye.